spirit wants you to rise above something okay spirit wants you is giving you the goal the green light to move on from something there's something about your life that you've been wanting to change or there's something or someone that you've been wanting to move on from okay this could be your own mindset your own way of thinking this could be like rebuilding um you know rebuilding a new foundation and letting go of the old things that no longer serve you you think in a certain way just doesn't serve you anymore that that you know that was all insecurity there's no need for you to be in that energy spirit is supporting you moving forward okay i saw the chariot energy and i saw the temperance energy you could be a cancer have some cancer in your chart you could have some sagittarius in your chart uh but rise above the obstacle rise above the drama rise above the pettiness you do not need to meet anybody with their pettiness okay just find the strength to overcome and move forward okay rise above because as i was pre-shuffling this deck i was called back to the deck to look on the bottom and i after i received that message and i saw rise above which is this hot air balloon you're yeah i feel like you guys have been in this space of healing your inner child here okay with this inner child energy you've been doing a lot of shadow work Spirit wants you to focus on the positive and not the negative and just live life to the fullest. It's like an energy of you needing to feed your inner child. Do whatever is fun to you. Whatever makes you laugh. Whatever makes you happy. Okay? We're in the energy of spring right now. So this is definitely giving me another confirmation that this is definitely going to resonate for a lot of you guys. Because we are in this time period of right now, spring. So this is the work that you're doing and this is the energy that you need to maintain throughout the season of spring. Spring is also about abundance and blossoming, things blooming, okay? Um, whatever answers that you've been looking for, praying for, some of you guys have been wanting new love, a healthy love. You've been taking really great care of yourself. You've been questioning, and I just saw temperance again. Uh, you've been questioning if you're on the correct path and you are on the correct path because as I'm seeing these... Um, lilies bloom it's like there's a bunch of them i'm tulips i'm sorry they're tulips maybe somebody could resonate with lilies but these are tulips here a lot of these tulips are closed right they blossom but they've closed but there's one along this pathway which is like in the middle of this path which is has stones in. i'm going to show you it's wide open it's it's very open and it's kind of like sticking out from the crowd so it's like grown away from the crowd it's 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 single it's on its own but it's open it's the only one open here i feel like that's you i don't know if you can see this open flower here be open to receive and you see this pathway it's like man you're being guided you're yeah you're doing some healing work you guys are taking a lot of time to take care of yourselves i'm talking to somebody here who's being gentle with themselves right now take time to breathe okay make you some nice tea coffee whatever herbs or whatever it is that you need it's okay to have a little wine whatever it is that you, some of y'all been journaling reading a book yeah the strength card is here in reverse. Some of you guys have been doubting yourselves, feeling inadequate, wondering and questioning your decisions, and you don't need to be in that state of mind, okay? Maybe you've been lacking some confidence. Don't, there's no need, whatever you're doing right now is what you're supposed to be doing, so continue to do the work, all right? If you're not already doing this. So show me what else are for my singles. What else do they need to know? What messages do you have for my singles, please? Holy Spirit. Yeah, fertility. You are in this energy of like growing something here. There's some, you're, th this is what I'm saying. Even if you're lacking the confidence and you're concerned about something not blossoming and something not manifesting here, no, you are in the, if you're doing all of this work, the idea is going to blossom if you put some action towards it there's a lot of growth so go ahead and plant the seed now is the time to plant the seed and you know because spring is a time where things bloom you could have planted a seeds a, a seed in the winter time or in the fall and now it's the time for this to manifest and bloom and come to light here so you're about to see some really really great energy so if you've been doubting yourself or what you've been doing or the path that you've been on honey let me tell you spirit is here supporting you Continue to water and nurture yourself. You are in divine uh, energy, whether you're masculine or feminine. Show me more here. Show 
water your inner garden, okay? Water your inner garden here. Um, I Somebody here is in their ego, okay? This could be you or somebody else around you, but we're talking about you, so we're going to stick with you, but flip and switch it where it feels appropriate. Get Make sure you're not, while you're doing this inner work, you're not living in the in energy of your ego because it does feel like, you know... <sighs> If this is about self-preservation, maybe you've been protecting yourself or you've been in your pride and your ego, you've been repressing some emotions or you've been in denial. Um, like, oh, I don't know. This could be you lack of confidence, like I was saying earlier, too. But whatever this thing is that you know you need to rise above and move away from, you've been fighting it a little bit. I, I That's the energy that I'm getting here, okay? You know the answer. Trust your intuition. Show me more here for the my singles. Yeah. Whatever this is, you somebody wants to write a book. If you've been thinking about writing a book, you should totally do this. Or continue to do the work and journal when you're feeling some kind of way. Just sit down and write it out. If there's a plan that you want to take or some action that you want to take and move towards a project or whatever this new idea is that I feel like has the ability to grow and blossom and that you can be successful, write it down. I feel like this is you're on a sacred part of your journey. We have material in, energy here. Money, career, status, make your mark, okay? Make your mark. So some of y'all are like in this really bossy energy here. You're focusing on your divine masculine energy, balancing your divine masculine energy here with masculine and this is emperor energy, by the way. You could be a masculine, you don't have to be, but this is you bossing up. I feel like focusing, okay, let me take more action. Let me write this down and let me be a little bit more organized and then let me just get to it. You know, let me not be so lackadaisy. This is you focusing on your money, improvements, uh, career, um, you know, and saving money and meeting some form of goal here. We have balance, yin, yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your highest self. I really feel like you guys have been doing everything you can to stay centered in your highest self. I do. But you somehow are lacking this confidence for some reason can you show me more here about this denial for my collective the six of swords this is a denial the six of swords is here in reverse there's a denial that you need to move away from something okay or you may feel a lack of confidence some of y'all are feeling a lack of confidence because the things have been slow to come in or delayed or you feel like some stagnancy or some form of delay here and and that could be because it's not coming in fast enough which is why you're feeling like man am i really making the right decision no you are things are not going to move at a light speed okay um but they are moving if you feel like you're not making progress you are okay you are show me about this rise above energy thank you five of wands the the drama the pettiness like i said okay the conflict move away from it you don't even have the time or the energy to be concerned about it to be honest you should be taking all this energy you have spirit is saying temper yourself don't 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 double down. Don't stoop down to somebody's level here. Okay. I don't care if it's, you have some people who don't want you to move forward. You have some people who want you to be petty. There could be someone in your life or at your job who you feel like it just, it's just like poking the bear. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, okay, you poke that bear one more time. Show me this uh, inner child energy work here. The Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you, you are moving in the right direction. Do not question yourself, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is about expansion and growth, like I was saying earlier. This is change, you know? You are getting, completing life cycles, and, and this is fate. This is fated. Spirit supports you right now, and you are on the right path, I'm telling you, okay? Do not... If you're feeling like you have a lack of direction right now, that's just a trick of the enemy, okay? Don't don't be dishonest with yourself. Don't believe what other people are telling you. Don't allow other people to, to discourage you. Because I feel like with the Six of Swords here in reverse and the Eight of Cups here being in reverse, it's like maybe there's some, I just feel like there's some energy here of some people might not, either you not being confident, you're moving in the right direction. Show me more here about the clarify this wheel of fortune. 
Yeah. I feel like you guys, the autumn equinox energy just came out and I feel like you guys feel stuck something's taking a long you feel like you're not making progress things aren't moving fast enough okay it, you know this is the thing where you're this is also harvesting energy remember i said you may have planted a seed in the winter time or in the fall you planted it in the fall and then boom now it's your harvesting time and it's blossoming and blooming in the spring so it may have taken some months for this to occur prepare yourself for this change because i feel like there are some changes that are coming um yeah and these are good changes okay this is good something that's gonna affect you positively so show me this fertility energy here the sun in reverse you need to stay optimistic you guys okay make sure you're showing up in your true authenticity meaning are you doing what you want to do are you really living your true in your true authenticity doing what makes your heart like just feel so full right what are your desires what are the things that you really love to do are you playing are you in this inner child uh energy are you having fun keeping your vibe high and also too are you in this energy of staying and remaining grateful here make sure that you are staying optimistic okay and you go have some fun show me more of this fertility energy you could be a leo we have the tower show me this tower energy with the sun you're resisting some change i feel like you guys be careful with that the nine of swords you you've got some some stuff to release from the past that you're feeling guilt of, guilty about this could also be some form of past life trauma or some emotional baggage that you need to let go of. let go of that let go of that stuff it doesn't serve you anymore let it go allow the tower to come in i feel like you already went through a tower though some of y'all may have already gone through this tower because we're talking about rebuilding a new foundation right the tower happens it falls because this stuff doesn't serve you anymore it's not who you are now maybe it served who you used to be but now you're doing everything you can to do the inner child work and healing and rise above all the drama the conflict you know and it's like okay i'm ready to move forward wheel of fortune but like you know everybody keeps coming at me or um you know people try to tempt me to snap at them or whatever like whatever these feelings are allow yourself to feel them and let it go because you're not going to be able to like the change is good it might feel uncomfortable all right what's this uh, material world energy with the masculine energy magician and the six of cups there's a masculine from the past here there's a masculine from the past uh but but i'm just gonna say this here i feel like that could be what's still lingering in your energy that you need to let go of and forgive yourself for all right a masculine maybe this was a father figure this could have been somebody you in a love connection with or whatnot but like also too we're going to go back to you being in this emperor energy right remember i was saying earlier your folk trying to do everything you can to stay take action um get balanced and not just talk about it or think about it but like be about it and do it and the magician in the reverse tells me like you haven't created a clear plan you don't have a clear or you don't have a clear vision um <coughs> remember that thoughts become things so if you're thinking negatively about it or if you're telling yourself you can't do it be careful with that okay be careful with that because there's something here from the past this could have been a parent that told you you'll never amount to anything this could have been a past lover who was a manipulative emotionally abusive or physically abusive person who um you know was like you can't do it you're not good enough or you know you gotta let it go they are it's time to move away from that energy whether it was a family member or it was a lover whether they were male or female um you, you let just let that go you're man you gotta put forth some more effort here if you feel like hey i put in the effort anaris tarot and you have actually put in the effort you're just feeling stagnant but if you just keep going i promise you it's gonna be worth it it's going to be worth it. Because there's a strong energy out here of you feeling like, well, I don't see it coming together. You know, 
What else here for the collective? Thank you. The four coins. All right. What about this four pentacles? Hey, make sure you're not too much in thinking about money, not focus too much on money, okay? There, there's a, ba a balance that needs to come from that. Judgment energy and the star energy. You could be a Scorpio. We did see the tower and the star card is here. So that's Aquarius energy out here. Um, I don't know what you're holding on from the past, but it definitely seems like you're holding on to something very tightly that needs to be healed um, or forgiving yourself. Like we said, you know, just there's a rebirth trying to happen for you right now. And there's a decision that you need to be to make. And there's a renewal that's trying to happen for you, which is this judgment energy. It's healing the star. Okay. This is you actually finding some balance. And this is also energy of renewal and hope and faith. So like your wish is going to be granted. Okay. Just make sure you're heeding this call. You're being called to do this work do this work you're building a new foundation which is this four of pentacles energy okay don't be a creature of habit just comfortable you know not wanting to do what you need to do i, I get it what else here for the collective what else do they need to know singles Okay, this is uh, fifth chakra energy. So this is about communication. This is about you speaking up your throat chakra, okay? Your throat chakra. Make sure you're speaking positively. Make sure you're speaking life into yourself. Make sure you're speaking up for yourself. But don't, don't be petty with the other people who are trying to bring you into this pettiness with them. Show me what this is about. This chakra. Yeah, hostilities, like I was saying. Don't, don't cuss anybody out don't don't allow those people to bring you down to their level i'm telling you because i feel like somebody's trying you observer hmm someone here i feel like wants to wants you to get out of character don't allow them to do that yeah deceit deceit ill 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 what else does the collective need to know here Make sure you guys hit the like button if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. It's time for you to move on and you know it, okay? I'm, on the, I'm just, yeah, oh my gosh. Whatever this is from the past holding you back, it's... It's, it's a facade. It's a veil. It's not real. It does. It's, I promise you, it's something somebody said to you a long time ago or something somebody did to you a long time ago that you did not deserve collective. I am telling you, you know it's time for you to walk away in this Eight of Cups energy, this Two of Swords energy, in this indecision. There's a path, but you're unsure. Am I moving down the right path? You know, on these signs, these posts say past and um, I'm getting like past and, and present, right? Um, I mean past and future it's like you're stuck in the middle don't allow make the decision for yourself to get out of this karmic cycle or this behavior that you've been taught this learned behavior because somebody taught you this somebody didn't believe in you or whatever this is or this is something somebody did to you with this never-ending story get out of that watch your thoughts okay because like you deserve this serendipity that's that's you have something available to you, you guys that's trying to come in you know it's time for you to go here. Your intuition has been telling you it's time to go. It's time to walk away. Okay. You, you need to make sure you stay poised. So if somebody tries you, um, pray about it first. Pray about it first before you respond. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that there. Um, let's see. What else for the collective? My singles. Collective, my singles. Ooh. Awakening. There we go. A realization, a shift, and a discovery, which is the judgment energy. So this is good. You finally making a judgment call. Coming out of fear. 
So I feel like fear has got you stuck here. You're just thinking the worst. Don't spend a lot of time on these negative thoughts, okay? And make sure, too, you're listening to your body when it's time for you to take a nap, go to, go to bed, rest. If you're doing too much here, you pay attention to that energy. Let's get you um, a spirit animal. All right. What is the spirit animal for my singles? Spirit animal for my singles. One more shuffle, please. What was that? Spirit animal. Fear just fell on the floor, so that tells me you're releasing it. So let it go. Let it go. Let it fall to the wayside. Don't even try to pick that fear back up once you release it, okay? We have the Orga Whale adventure okay the orga well so fear just fell to the floor let it fall to the wayside and this literally says dare to do things differently sing your wild song manifest your travel dream so some of you all want to travel you have this big dream of traveling the world it says attempt the great journey with confidence yeah i was getting a little bit of lack of confidence it says be loyal family and friends are your treasures be brave you are more powerful than you know remember that keep pushing okay it says humpback whale singer some of y'all could be like aspiring singers there's something here about singing a song you need to go ahead and take a leap of faith and support yourself in those dreams it says sing healing songs for the world your inner navigation always guides you nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal align with your purpose and the power in your soul okay the humpback whale and the orga whale so a lot of heavy whale energy here you could be a water sign or have heavy water in your chart but step out of fear make sure you're getting your rest uh, make sure you um, are balanced and not focusing on the negative focus on the positive keep pushing forward you're not in a delay you're right where you need to be you're moving directly towards your abundance okay and, and accomplishing these dreams you, you, you are going to be fine okay you're going to be more than fine you're going to be successful spirit is supporting you right now so i'll see you guys later hit the like button subscribe to the channel bye